The U-Scope is a very unique tool. Number one, most important, is that it's powerful. And number two, it's small. You combine that together and what you have is a very convenient tool to use. And so when you're in those situations where time is beating down on you and you have to get something done and you're thinking, oh, am I going to take the time to get out the lab scope and look at this signal or not? Well, if you got the lab scope with you and ready to go, you're going to look at it and you're going to get that much needed information that you just can't get in any other way. Conveniently, quickly. So let me show you how fast it is. Okay. Car's running. I'm going to pull out the U scope out of my Dollar Tree dollar pouch here. First thing I'll do is take the U scope, put it in my pocket, get out the test leads that I'm going to use, hook it to my U scope, and hook to the car. Ground, throw up my injector. I'm going to turn on my U scope. Look how quick this happens. It boots up, it's ready to go. Now on the U-scope, if you press the A button, hold it down, you'll go to our value screen. Here I can quickly set the volts and time per division and get a good injector signal. Now we can take it to another step. I'm going to go ahead and fine tune it now. I'm going to hit the OK button to bring up the menu and I'm going to go to TR, which stands for trigger. Hit my left right arrow keys to go to normal. I'm going to go to trigger level. I'm going to bring my trigger level down by hitting my left arrow key. I'm going to trigger slope and I'm going to change it to positive slope. One more adjustment is I'm going to set my trigger horizontal position to the left. And now look at my injector signal. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Look at it revving it up. Next step is I'm going to save this preset that I just created by going to SD. I'm going to select save to user file and I'm going to hold down the OK key. Up on the top right you can see that it's going to file 004. Now I'm going to turn off the U-scope and turn it back on again just to show you how quickly this can really be. I'm going to go to my PS menu item hit select, I'm going to go down to my user setups, the one that I, and I'm going to find the one I just, that I just saved by going left and right until I find user number four, hold down the OK key, and there it is. It's there with a reference waveform. That's quick and that's powerful.